Welcome to Extreme Sound Design. My name is Bill Burgess. Been around, going around. I've done a few things. And as you know, or may not know, Logic has one of the most intense sound design tool sets in the world. And this tutorial will be about finding the extreme edges of that for game design, for electronic music abstraction, for film work, and for creating new sound palettes. I'll go extensively into the flex tools, stretch tools, and ways of editing those flex tools using the marquee and some other kind of little known ways, but really musical and useful ways of dealing with that. We'll look at extreme time stretch. as a method for creating sound design. We're going to look at the little known speed fades. I'll show you all about how to use those to create special effects. As many of you know that Logic install comes with gigs and gigs and gigs of Apple loops. But I'm going to show you how to make your own, how to categorize them, how to build them, how to migrate them between projects. extensively on layering techniques as well as a little known technique where you can swap out layered loops we're going to spend a little bit of time on how we hear in a 360 degree fashion how logic's binaural panner can help us to create illusions how we can pan and create deep movement within film and game design, sound effects, as well as electronic music. I'll show you about the mechanics of writing for picture, writing for games, where we have deep background sounds, sounds in the foreground, and sounds that occupy the middle ground of the space. We're going to look uh, in detail at why these three elements are, are key for any kind of game design or film work or even album work. Lastly, we're going to go into the mighty space designer. I'm going to show you how to build rhythmic space designers. This is one of my favorite plugins of all time, and it's capable of some astonishing things. We can make reverbs out of nearly any file available. Here's a Rhodes piano played through a reverb made out of an eight second dobro pattern. So if you're a Logic user or you're interested in designing sounds for games or for electronic music or for any application, jump in. should be a fun ride. 